Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for today, tomorrow, whenever it resonates. We're going to get one of these cards, and we're going to put it right here, and I'll read the meaning of the card at the end of the reading. We're just going to see what comes up. This is just a daily energy that I'm picking up on for somebody. I don't know who. Could be you. May or may not be. I guess that's it. Softly, softly, the tender touch. Look at the tears. Somebody is needing some tender loving care by the looks of things. There could be, you know, some loneliness, some sadness. And a little bit of uh, touch in... Uh, I'm rubbing my heart. I don't know why I'm feeling the card, obviously. A little bit of uh, tender love and care goes a long way, right? It does. Instantly, my, my hand went to my heart, so interesting. Um, you know, twos are about partnerships. So somebody is, like, seeking a partner... Seeking that loving care, right? Now this came out sideways, but we're gonna we're gonna flip it. This is is it lonely? Being alone is a challenge. It is. Even though you're good, even though you're doing well, even though you know things are looking better, you're feeling more abundant. It's not easy to be alone. So right now, during this time, anytime a card comes out sideways, it's a challenge. Being alone is a challenge. A lot of people are not even strong enough to be alone. So commend yourself if you are single and you've gotten out of a stressful situation. You're a very strong individual. You've gained strength. You've gained wisdom. You have a lot of self-worth. You know what you're worth. So even though it's not easy and you crave that touch, it's better to be healthy. It's better to enjoy life on a more positive note than to stay in a situation that is unhealthy and lacks growth. It's almost time. Because when you get to the nine of pentacles in the upright position, it's, the, it's almost time. It's almost time, okay? It's like you're ready. You're ready. Ooh, ready for love. Ready for love. We have this self-sufficient person who's been craving, really, really craving touch and love and somebody, but knowing that they can't settle for less than they deserve. They've worked on themselves. They be, they've become abundant. And love is coming. Love is coming. This could be self-love as well. If you are in a coupled relationship and you are watching this, you may be in a relationship that lacks tender loving care. But it's a challenge to become single. 
It is. You have to be strong. You have to know your worth. You have to believe that you can do it. It takes strength to be single. It does. So I feel like, I mean, with the Ace of Cups here, we have, we, this could be, um, a new, a new beginning in love. This could just be emotional support. So, you know, I feel like for, for whoever this single person is, or even if you're coupled, you know, love is, love is at the forefront, craving, 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 craving. So this is about craving love. Oh my God. Wow. The world card, a new beginning. One chapter of your life is over. For, for those of you that are single, I don't believe for many of you, if you're ready, if you are at this point where you are in this upright position, you're enjoying life, you're single, you're good. Yeah, there's some lonely times, but for the majority of it, you hold your head up high and you're just grateful for the experiences. You've learned some tough lessons. You, you love yourself again. For those of you that have gotten to that point, you have a new beginning on the horizon and it is a big one. You have learned a lesson about self-worth. And because you have taken the steps to work on yourself and become self-sufficient, you are now ready for love. So if you're in a coupled relationship and you're watching this and you're not getting that tender loving care, the first step is to complete the cycle you're in so that you can get the love that you truly deserve. If you're in a couple relationship and you know, everything is happily ever after, then you probably, I don't know why you're watching tarot readings, honestly. Let's be honest here. But then again, we have these people who lie to themselves, so whatever. Anyhow, um, this is a completion. A completion of one chapter, one phase, a big phase, not a little phase, something that was very prominent in your life is over. And this phase is over and it's leading you towards love. Because we all need that touch. Right? We do. There's no rush. There's no hurry. The Knight of Swords reversed. There's no need to hurry. Take your time. may be a little scary it may be a little scary to let somebody in after you've taken care of yourself for so long it may be a little scary to complete a chapter that you've lived in for so long however that applies to you you know we have a major completion here that world is a universe card it's a major and it's like one it's over something has come to an end it's come to an end for a lot of you it's independence if you have been independent and you are enjoying life, you're self-sufficient, you're abundant, you love yourself, you know what you're worth, here it comes. And that is no joke. I mean, you can't, I mean, that single person is going to find love. We have a new beginning here. That's all there is to it. The phase of, of, uh, Being alone is just about over. But it's a little scary. I think it is a little scary. It is a little scary. It's a little scary to let somebody in. It is. King of Pentacles. Oh. Capricorn. Taurus or Virgo. This is somebody coming in. This is somebody coming in that is very stable, solid, secure, practical, responsible. Somebody that has a lot of wisdom behind their back. This is somebody who is a hard worker. 
this is somebody who is genuinely, genuinely, genuinely very quiet. This person is quiet. This person is is very well kept. I feel like uh, <laughs> this person may be waiting, waiting to make their move. And this person has a plan, and it's a solid plan. Oh my goodness gracious! And if you look, he's mirroring this single woman. We have two people that are going to come together. And I think there's a slow approach because this is slow. There's no rush. Like I said, it's going to, it's not, it's not like it's going to come flying in. It's, it's a slow process. But if you notice they're both pentacles, it's a practical thing. It's, it's stable and secure. The, the slower, the better honestly both of these people are craving both of these people are lonely hard work putting in effort you're being called to just keep doing what you're doing from the 8 to the 9 just keep doing what you're doing Work hard on yourself. You're doing the right thing. You're making progress. This this time of putting in effort into you is making you more emotionally available. It's making you more... Ready, okay? It's getting you ready for this love. Love is coming. It is. Somebody may have just gotten out of or from the eight to the nine to the ten of pentacles. Hmm. Somebody may have just gotten out of a family situation. There could have been a, a, a move or a lack of abundance in some arena. There could have been A completion of a family dynamic like something has changed in the home front that now makes somebody more emotionally available could have something to do with kids it could have something to do with the home could have something to do with an ex-partner there's been some sort of change on the home front that now makes somebody available there's been a completion of some sort that now make somebody available to love. Oh, wish fulfillment. This is a dream come true. It's something that you have been praying for. So I really feel like somebody has been in a dissatisfying situation that held them back. Somebody has been in a dissatisfying, unrealistic situation. Maybe their living circumstances weren't stable or something was in the way. I'm not sure. There could have been another person in the way. It could have been a job. Could have been. Could be anything. I feel like there was a lack of, of ability to... move forward and follow their heart to go find the love that they deserved or that they wanted because there was something that was in the way. There was something that was in the way. There was something that um, they had to finish up. And now, because this is finishing up too, there's something that had to be finished up so that they could go after their dreams. So, 
this is a blessing. This is a blessing with that star card. Somebody is receiving something that they have been praying for and I think it's a I think it's a person. I think it's love. I think it's tender loving care. I think it's after putting in effort to persevere through a very difficult time perhaps of being independent of getting independent i think that the hard work that someone has put into themselves has finally paid off and i think they have finally removed the obstacle that has been in the way or the universe because this is the universe the universe has removed an obstacle so that they can follow their heart and get that tender loving care that they truly deserve so i feel like It's a time of getting some sort of wish fulfillment with this star card. Whoever this person is that's that's coming in, they're very protective. These are both these are both protective energies. So I think we have a a protector here. Um, there's some sort of peace of mind that is coming back after a very. Uh, it looks like a, a difficult situation, something that was very dissatisfying. I think that period of, you know, having their expectations dashed and not being able to do anything about the circumstances that they were stuck in is over. I feel like and whatever, whatever this new situation is, there's nothing to prove. This person's not going to have to prove themselves. It's going to be, it's, I mean, these are both pentacles. So I'm not saying that you have to be a pentacle, but these, this is a good match. It's a good match. There's a lot of uh, common interests here. So I think that there's two people that are, there's a little bit of a distance between you two. There's a little bit of a distance because, and it could be any sign. I'm just saying that this is very um, compatible, whoever these two people are. There's a lot of compatibility here. But there's a little bit of distance because something has just completed. A phase of life has just completed. And I feel like these two people are slowly going to come together. They're slowly coming together. And it's, and it's a dream come true. It really is. It's a dream come true. It's the answer to your prayers. I feel like... Um, the time of, of waiting is over. It's just about over. It's just about over. But you might have to wait a little bit more because, like I said, I don't know if I said it, but I was thinking it. Slow and steady wins, wins the race. And I feel like this is, this is, this is, this is slowly coming together. It's slow because these, these move slow. They don't, they don't rush. There's no rush in these cards. None. No rush. This is, keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. Because you are so ready or you're getting ready for that ultimate love, okay? Somebody is craving happily ever after as well. They are. They're craving that abundance. They're cra craving that family life or that, you know, partnership, that perfect partnership. They're craving it. And I feel like they've been in a very unrealistic or uh, dissatisfying situation praying for, you know, this touch. And their prayers are truly about to be answered in some way. Now, do, do I think that's going to happen today or tomorrow? I think this is an energy today of this is happening it's happening but it's happening slowly because there's no rush here i think we're in the we're in the process of you know taking steps taking steps it could be maybe it's 8 days 8 or 9 days from today before you actually meet up with this person you know that could be the case um Let me get let me get some more cards. We we'll get a couple more cards. We have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, we have Aquarius again. We have anybody, so it really doesn't matter about the signs. I know people always ask, so that's why I said it. Um, Either way, we have this very self-sufficient individual 
who is ready for love, and it's coming. Six of Swords reversed. You know, this is reluctant to see a new approach. That's what this is. Reluctant to move on from a situation. Some of you are stuck. Some of you are stuck in a situation where it's very troublesome. You have to, you know, you deserve the tender loving care. Somebody is refusing to consider a new approach when, you know, they deserve love. And it's going down. It is going down. It's going down. Whoever is stuck, it's like the, the balloon, you see the balloon is going down. It's going down. If some, whoever, for those of you that are stuck, this is the completion of a relationship. So, so I don't know who this is for, but some of you have gotten out of, they've, you've finally completed the cycle of an old relationship and that you're single. For some of you, are, you are in the process of completing a relationship in search for tender loving care. However, that resonates for you. For those of you that are in this spot where you are self-sufficient, you know your worth, you have faced the pain, you are strong, you've dealt with your independence, you know, you've dealt with your loneliness, it's coming. That cycle is over. With the world card, a, a big phase in your life, a big time, it's over. One more. Oh, God. The fool reversed. This is, this is being naive, being taken advantage of. Somebody is naively holding on to something that doesn't serve them, afraid to take a risk, afraid to face their fears, afraid to start over, afraid to be alone. Some of you have decided already that you you're that you're fearless. You're fearless. Some of you are still letting your fear get in the way. Either way, we have we have an offer of love on the way we do we have an offer of love on the way whoever is watching this is wanting romance they're wanting a relationship they're wanting relationship growth their dreams are of tender loving care there's an opportunity for wish fulfillment here if somebody can face their fears This is an intense period. I think that um, there's an offer coming in that may be a little scary, but it looks to be a perfect match. It does. It looks to be a perfect match. Let's read this card now. It is about a partnership. Did I say that at the beginning? I think I did. This is about a partnership. The feminine wisdom of gentleness can assist you now. When we are at a point in life where we want to attain greater things, but don't necessarily have the proportionality but, but don't necessarily have a proportionally greater supply of energy at our disposal. It is time to work smarter rather than harder. This is a way of feminine wisdom. 
However, a cultural ignorance of the feminine way currently prevails. We are generally taught that the more force we use, the more we try to make things happen, the more we will achieve. The feminine way is not about force. <laughs> it makes sense. I said this is slow. Slow and steady. It's funny. Nor is it about driving, striving, pushing, or grabbing at what we can in order to create. It's about inviting what we wish. <clears throat> it's about inviting for what we wish for to come into the space we have provided for it, internally and in our lives. This method cultivates more energy, causes less stress, and attracts what is desired. It is manifestation by invitation rather than by will or force. There is an old story that the sun and the wind were debating about who was more powerful. After boasting about their pr prowess, they made a wager. A man walked down the street with a coat on. The wind and the sun decided that whomever could force the coat off the man was the most powerful. The wind began demonstrating its impressive power. It blew and blew and caught underneath the coat pulling it and nearly ripping it right off the man. But the man wrapped his coat around himself more tightly to protect himself against the force of the wind. Eventually, perhaps temporarily, out of puff, the wind gave up. The sun took over. He shone down, becoming brighter and brighter, until the man slipped off his coat, slung it over his shoulder, and walked down the street quite possibly wondering what was happening with the weather that day. The wind attempted to do by force what the sun was able to do by being. You are being asked to surrender your forcefulness, your determination, and your intense activity, even if it is just for this moment. Does this mean that you have to surrender your goals, surrender the goals you were chasing through those endeavors? Certainly not. This is not about letting go of achievement. It is about understanding the process of manifestation in a more intelligent way. There's a way of creating that gives you energy that and doesn't leave you utterly worn out. It is about allowing what you want to come to you. Be yourself absolutely, naturally and with ease. Shine your light and allow your presence to invite that which you wish to receive. It is about cultivating an energetic affinity with what you seek rather than feelings of lack and need. Do you, do you see the subtle but important difference? To feel that you are already a naturally abundant being who gratefully invites more of what you want into your life is rather different to feeling lack, fear, and wishing your world would change. It is a bit like dressing for the job you want, even if it is not yet the job you have. <clears throat> Sorry. You energetically embody what you wish to attract more of into your life. Like attracts like. And like I, these are very, remember I said, these are, it's like perfect. They're very much alike. They are. They are. It's funny that I said that. It is. This oracle brings you a message. You don't need to push quite so hard to receive what is naturally coming to you. Your push comes from a place of uncertainty over whether or not you will succeed. You need to relax and have more faith in yourself. All things come in time. <laughs> That's funny. Rightfully and according to a great loving wisdom. You are not immune to this. You shall have your time and shine too. Rebel against any voice of fear within you or around you that tells you otherwise. It is okay to become softer, to feel the energy of what you wish to attract in your life, and to act as much as you can as though it is already that way. You are not fantasizing or daydreaming or falling to, failing to live in the real world if you do this. You are actually working with the feminine art of manifestation through gentle beingness and attraction. This oracle also comes with a special message <clears throat> that you have been working very, very hard. You have learned much and accomplished much, but it is now time to change your approach. Remember I said refusing to see a new approach with this card? I did say that too, didn't I? 
Let go of any force in your approach to creation now. Everything serves a purpose in learning the benefits and limitations of the more forceful way of manifestation through effort and willpower was a useful lesson. However, if you were to continue with that approach, it would stop working for you because you are now beginning to create on a far grander scale that is beyond what an individual can manifest through willpower alone. You are individually creating through your healing and art, but also contributing globally to new consciousness through your own spiritual growth. So that's what I have. I feel as though there's two people that are coming together. I feel like these two people may know each other. I think this is a slow process. It's a dream come true. It's what you've been wishing for. But you can't force it. And for those of you that are stuck in a situation based out of fear, it's time to, to face that fear. Good luck.